Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwick Gladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher, and I'm going to mess with my light for a minute. Because um, I thought, oh gosh, what if I turn it off on accident? Oh, so I'm going to share the Tangle Fun Bee by CZT Bieta Winkler. I hope I pronounced that right. All right. Adding <laughs> to our our organics and our simple organics like zinger, uh, fancy fescue, um, f just regular fescue, um, all of these just really, really cute little accent. Uh, with this, this you could do a whole lot with, but oh, just so much fun. All right. Starts off uh, with a curved line however you wish it to be curved. Do take a look at the For More Inspiration link for just that more inspiration. Um, and I'll, I'll be doing a couple on here. Uh, just so neat. All right, once you have your line, then from there, a little curved line to one direction, and then keep going and put a little orb, a little dot at the end. And then from that same place, curving to the other side, and as I will normally prove, it doesn't matter what happens. Perfection is not the aim. Perf the more imperfect, the more perfect. <laughs> so I am your poster child. All right. Let's put those in there. Because always, w once we get to the end, it's like, oh my gosh, amazing. Then capping this off with a big, uh, uh, well, not so big. If you look at uh, the For More Inspiration link, Beata has, uh, well, I'll, on my on my version of the step, let's say this. I have one that I went really big and then one that I went more like what uh, she has. Um, up to you. Whatever happens, happens. It's up to the pen, right? Okay, I'm going to do it this direction using the takeoff and land concept and the benefit, for the most part, of the natural curve of my hand. All right, so we're going to, uh, the takeoff and land, if you don't know, is tracing over a little bit of here. Coming up and around and then landing over here. I usually kind of make sure to slow up on the landing so we can stick it there. <laughs> ah, it worked okay. All right. It's a little flat there, but that's all right. Then we're going to add some little lines in here. And I like to start off with a nice something up the center. And then curving to one side. And however uh, far apart you want these is up to you. And then we'll add something that we call the sparkle. So I'm just leaving a little gap in here. And I'm just, I'm turning it around. And then maybe like up here, I'm just doing the top part. Same thing on the other side. But we'll have it curve a little bit the other way. And up to you when you want the, uh, the sparkle to show up. And <clears throat> like that. That is it. <laughs> it's adorable. <laughs> I forget where I was nosing around and I hadn't seen this one before. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's awesome. So let's do it. Now, if you want to add a little graphite to it, you can. We can emphasize, we've essentially shaded with the lines, right? Like um, I did a class on Tangle Enhancers. Uh, it's a paid class. If it's something you're interested in, uh, you can check my website. It's in the link is in the description section. And we talked about hatching. I wanted to I always want to say hash and it's like, no, 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 it's hatching. And um, cross hatching and stippling and uh, uh, a bunch of others that are more Zentangle specific, but um, so fun to use. And like I said, in combination with, um, all right, apparently I don't know. Oh, let's see. Is that, that looks like brown. <laughs> apparently I need, okay, let's just use a new Tortillon. Looks like I have two that have some white. I want it to be a little fine anyway, so that's good. And just spreading it out ever so slightly. Look at how that curves it. 
Oh my gosh. And you know, I think I mentioned it on another one. And um, Antonia, if you're watching, which I'm sure you are, did you use your, your chalk pencils yet? You should. <laughs> Are you, you know, hmm, let me just show you, this is grass green, and even though I already have the graphite there, you know what, let me do it on a fresh one, okay, because, because otherwise, yeah, we want to, we want to see that, okay, I'm going to do, let's do, uh, do maybe a little one over to the side, I like to have things crisscross sometimes. We'll see. I, I need to have a third. Oh, maybe I can do a third one over this way. Okay. Curve line with the dot. And. Well, that worked better doing it that way. You know, coming this way versus this way. I Sometimes the hand. just likes to do what it wants to do and then once you get used to what it wants to do then sometimes it changes it up so funny all right oh and wait, let's get a little wild no yeah a little wild watch this <laughs> For those that know me, you know, oh yeah, that's wild for her. Mm-hmm. Well, it did, and I went a little bit too far, too. See what happens when I go... Well, I was inspired to do that by uh, Biet's, um, Bieta. I hope I, I, guess I hope I'm pronouncing it right. I found this nice uh, site that uh, hopefully is correct in helping with uh, pronunci pronunciation of names. All right. That's just going to be a little squatty one here. And then I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> oh, she had one that had a little loop-de-loop -loop in it. And I was like, ooh, that's nice. We'll have to try that. All right. <clears throat> Grass green. Same idea. And this is why I have a toothpick holder full of tortillons. And usually they behave themselves and they stay, you know, there. Uh, but sometimes they'd like to jump out and get all over my desk. Same idea with the tortillon, but this way you can have, have a different tortillon, you know, for each color, you know, or different color families or something like that, uh, depending on how many you have. Like that. <laughs> and then, of course, you can put it over the graphite, which I will do. And I will mention, um, if you go to my website, I, oh, I should have warned you, enabler alert, enabler alert. That's one of our, our things that we do. I need I need to get like a siren and, and a recording of, of a, somebody yelling that or something. Now... I do have an, an enabler fulfillment section on my website and I have some links. So if you are interested, it, it's a, um, I have some links to Dick Blick and, um, yeah, there's some other ones on there and I, I, I'm sure that there's something about, uh, well, they're not paying me to do this. I, I have links, uh, affiliate links. So if you want to, so, you know, helps to support me, I get a little kickback because you used my link and those links are on my website and I appreciate it in advance if you you know it doesn't cost you anything more look at that isn't that neat just a hint of flavor a flavor <laughs> just a just a hint of flavor of green <laughs> yep they look good enough to eat <laughs> and even you know having the graphite first it kind of um, makes it a little bit more earthy. So 
it's one of those feel free to you know to do that I, i've done that frequently as an afterthought and um and it's just neat i like the chalk pencils because you can um use them just like graphite i have mentioned several times if you've listened uh periodically but if you haven't i'll tell you not an artist so a lot of this stuff and this is the this is the pencil i was using um a lot of this stuff is new to me and you know and so it's so interesting so i could work with the graphite and this was a nice next thing because i can do this do similar things i already know how to use it you know, with the tortillon, I know how to, you know, I, I get all that. So it's just, it's just really, really a lot of fun. Now, I'm going to do some extra shading though with, let's go under here just a little bit. It's so funny because I just learned so much about art. You know, um, a lot of people, will, well, no, back up, oh, back up, slow down. I get too excited sometimes. Um, Brick and Maria will talk about how, or and I'll talk about this in the, in classes, on the, the foundation and the, the beginnings of Zentangle were a way to tr uh, create, a way to teach, sorry, meditation through art. I'm just being enamored by this. Um, and I always say I found both through Zentangle. And it's just so much fun. And then for those that, that come online, look at how much depth that that just made. Woo! That, that if you want to join me for an online class, I'm going to do something else here. Um, come and join us. Cause, and I say us, meaning our, our beautiful community, uh, as well as mom. And so... For those that don't know, mom is an artist. She'll, you say, I say it to her. She's like, no, I'm not. I'm like, yes, you are. She's like, no, I'm not. And so we go back and forth. <laughs> um, she has a degree in art education. And it's just so fun that, you know, I never liked, cared for art class. I, you know, I, I can talk about that for a long time. Um, but it's just so neat to be able to do this stuff. And that's why I get I, I get so thrilled and so enamored with everything that happens entangle wise. It's just it's such a hoop. Now that I've done that, if I if I don't do like here, that's gonna look silly, isn't it? And I do like to share that periodically because sometimes I think if you don't know, you know, and then when I get like all just so thrilled with the way the shading works out I mean, because it just it never gets old in my book it is so much fun and all of these little things like this that i'm learned that i learn doing little drop shadows and it's like it's not necessarily that hard you know that i always say if i can do it you can do it <laughs> so I'm thrilled with that. And I just, oh, it looks like art. Oh, but we have to do this at the bottom. I, I did leave a little space here so we could, um, we'll just put some little lines. But th yeah, through the magic of Zentangle and the brilliance of Rick and Maria coming up with these, uh, the elemental strokes and having that be the foundation, it's just magical. So thanks for letting, listening to my uh, soapbox moment and, uh, Oh, it's just so much fun. And I hope that you've enjoyed this. Um, again, in the description section, links to the step outs. I always do my own version and then link to the creator of the Tangle uh, website link there. You can follow my blog as well there, um, but you can see all of the links. I hit my attempt on my site and someday I'm going to sequester myself somewhere where I have nothing else to do but sit and work on my website. Um but the idea is to put tangles in categories of things like leafy <laughs> or organic um, and things that make sense in, in my head, I guess. Uh, I do have that here on the YouTube channel. So if you click below uh, to either my picture or my name, that'll take you to what I call, I call the homepage of, of the YouTube channel. And you'll see I have playlists and the playlists essentially are the categories and there's a bunch of them <laughs> there's a bunch of videos too um 
so so you can follow my blog uh, if you happen to be on Facebook I have a link to my Facebook page you can follow me there I post classes there usually first should be on my website and I should send out a, a post on that someday I will um, but if Facebook it's there um, also Eventbrite meetup I have you know links there you'll find those on the website uh, under classes um, but we also have because I mentioned the group we have a, a group page uh, it, it, a beautiful beautiful uh, community has developed over the last few years and so if you would like to join us uh, come do so there are four questions that you have to answer in order to gain entry and then um, come show us what show us what you've done you know it, it's just it's such a nice such a nice place such beautiful people so we'd love to have you I'll see what else do I have there in the section blah, 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 blah. oh and probably you know well not more importantly it's all equally important to me uh, if you've enjoyed this I hope that you'll click like and if you liked it enough to see more that you'll click to subscribe to the channel all right so with that thank you so much for watching and I wish you happy tangling. <laughs>